Philippine Navy eyes to acquire Israeli-made patrol boats Shuldog MKV. The Philippine Navy is eyeing to acquire eight Israeli shipyard LTD Shuldog class patrol boats to replace the PKMs it is using for maritime interdiction operations. But before that please don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you. PKM is short for Patrol Killer Medium a term used to describe medium-sized naval craft tasked for patrol missions. In an interview with reporters on Wednesday night, Philippine Navy Flag Officer in Command Vice Admiral Robert Emptred said this procurement project, which is worth 10 billion peso, was already approved by President Rodrigo R. Duterte during a recent command conference. These eight Shuldags will replace our patrol killer medium, which were acquired from South Korea in 1995, which we are now starting to retire. The last patrol killer medium we retired was patrol killer medium 112, BRP Bienvenido Salting, Emptred said. He added that four of the Shuldag patrol boats will be built in Israel while the remaining four will be constructed in the Philippine Navy Cavitan Naval Yard in Sangli Point, Cavita City. The Philippine Navy chief said they are waiting for the Department of Budget and Management to release the so-called multi-year obligational authority so that they can sign the contract for the ships. Once this is signed, immediately, we send our personnel to the shipyard to Israel, Emptred added. The Shuldag is under the Philippine Navy's fast attack interdictor craft missile project. Under this program, four of the ships will be armed with non-line-of-sight missiles with pinpoint accuracy and a range of 25 kilometers. With the fast attack interdictor craft missile, the Philippine Navy shall have the capability to defend the key sea lines of communications, such as Mindoro, Balabac, Sibutu, and Basilan Straits against conventional threats. Operating in restricted waters, the fast attack interdictor craft missile can interdict surface threats and launch on line of sight missiles safely using the surrounding littoral areas as maneuver space and cover, then Philippine Navy spokesperson, Captain Jonathan Zeta said of the project.